All right, Hendrick, big win for you and the boys tonight. Just what were you guys seeing out there on the ice? I think we had a uh, really good start, and that continued through through the whole game. We uh, controlled their uh, pushbacks, and uh, we had our pushback. So I, I thought it was a pretty complete game, even even though they came back. Uh, but all that matters is we got the two points. So you had the big goal that started us off. You know, your first one in a Steelhead uniform since last season. You know, how'd that feel, and what were you seeing on that play? Yeah, uh, my line mates did a good job. Uh, Kess made a really nice play to me. Uh, just had to kind of shovel it in. So. It's really nice to get the first one out of the way, and uh, I'll just look forward to the weekend. And lastly, just you know, being here in Boise again, you know, what's that mean to you, and, and how's that feeling? Yeah, Boise is an awesome city, and I know a lot of the guys here from last year, so feel really comfortable already, and yeah, I'm uh, happy to be here. All right, Joe, it's big goal there to get the overtime winner. Just walk me through what you were seeing on that play. Um, you know what? I was just trying to get the puck to the net any way I could, whether that was, that was with a shot, a pass, or just take it myself. Um, Got a little lucky. I think their own guy put it in for me, but uh, um, uh, we'll, we'll take the win for sure. So that's your first goal here, you know, back in this ring since last season. You know, how's it nice to get that first one out of the way? Uh, it, it definitely does feel good. Um, we uh, I thought we stuck together all night, especially um, all with the adversity we went through at the end of the game there. Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll take these two points and uh, we'll move on to Friday. And lastly, going into these last couple of games for Rapid City, what do you guys need to focus on as a team to kind of take these next four points? Uh, honestly, a lot of the things that we did tonight, we gotta, uh, you know, do again. Um, obviously, there's there's always going to be things that you can work on from every game, uh, you know. And we're still we still um, we've moved on from last week, but we can't uh, we can't hold it easy that uh, uh, you know what, what happened to us last week. So um, we, uh, like I said, we got to take it shift by shift, period by period, and uh, um, come away with two points on Friday, and then we'll look at Saturday. All right, Coach, well, congrats on the win. Uh, what were your thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah, it, it was a great win. Um, you know, I, I thought we played a real good game. Obviously, um, we bent a little bit there in the, the final minutes when they got two. But, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you can take a lot of lessons out of that. And, um, you know, for me, we need to be comfortable in those situations. you got to be comfortable in a one, two goal games. Uh, we've done it all year, and we're going to have to do it a lot down the stretch as well. And um, I thought, you know, we were able to keep our composure on the bench. You know, it'd be easy to maybe panic a situation, but um, we came out uh, ready for overtime. Um, we had a plan in place, guys executed, and um, you know, we'll take the two points, put them in the bank, and make sure we're that much better come Friday. So it was kind of cool, uh, both Henrik Samuelson and Charlie Dodaro get their first goals you know, at this rink since last season. How nice is it to have those two veterans back on the ice? It was really good. Um, you know, Sammy, he got in late yesterday. Um, quick turnaround, quick morning skate, and then right in uh, to play top line minutes uh, on our first line. So it's a big ask, and I thought he responded great. Um, you know, he, he must have logged over 20 minutes, and that's a big ask after, um, you know, the travel he put in. So uh, he stepped right in. Um, you know, the guys really love Sammy. Um, you know, we have a lot of respect for him. So to get him here was a big lift for our group, and uh, now we've got to make sure we keep building off it. Um, Dodes, to answer your question there, um, you know, he's, he's been coming each week, and, you know, the fact that, you know, he had some time off there with the injury for a couple months, uh, it's taken him a little bit to find his rhythm. I thought tonight he was really good. Um, he was skating well. He was creating some separation uh, on the breakout from four checkers. And, you know, when he's using his mobility, um, he's a very dangerous player. And, you know, I thought he was rewarded for putting in a great 60 minutes. After nine games straight on the road, you come back home and you get the victory. I mean, how crucial is, is it for you to, to come back home and to get that win? Well, yeah, it's big. I mean, obviously, you know, the nine games on the road, um, you know, we started off that road swing pretty good at a four and two. And um, those final three got away from us. You know, we didn't necessarily, um, you know, play awful. We just, you know, missed that final gear, a little bit of that edge. And, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, that's what can happen when you're on a 16-day road trip. And, again, we can learn lessons from it, um, you know, moving forward if we're in situations like that down the road. But to get back here, regroup, Group, um, you know, in front of our fans, um, you know, play the game we want to play. I thought our tempo was much better, especially when you look at the first 10 of the game. Um, I thought uh, our tempo and our layers of speed um, were much better than we saw the previous week. So that's something we wanted to get back to. You know, uh, there have been a couple of these games where you guys have a lead and then the other team gets back in it late. Yeah. Um, What's it like for the team to get the win, though? You know, it's, it's well, yeah, no, we hit on that, and I said, you know, at, at the end of the day, we've got to get comfortable in those situations. We've been doing it all year. We've defended a lot of one goal, a lot of two goal leads. Um, you know, so at the end of the day, it's a good learning experience for us. Um, you know, we need to be comfortable in those situations, and the fact that they did tie it up late, we were able to take a breath on the bench, regroup, 
execute the plan we wanted to execute in overtime. You know, I just think it speaks to the maturity of our group right now. Um, we were able to see it through. So most importantly, um, you know, we were able to stay composed, stay calm. Um, you know, we got to be a little better. Uh, obviously, six on five in our six on five defense. But um, at the end of the day, it's a learning experience. And uh, the more we do it, the more we'll get comfortable.